you got to stop that <laughs> earlier because we are going to get copyrighted for that. Okay, um, welcome back to another podcast. We really enjoyed the first one, didn't we, guys? It was mm. good fun. I actually mm. loved it a hell of a lot. Yeah, it was great. It was. Um, I, I know we were a bit shaky. We got good. But we feedback. got through it. We got through it, and it's nearly it's nearly on hundred views yeah. as well. So Might be now. Thank you to everyone that listened and that has subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed already, <laughs> do that now. And if you haven't listened to our first first <laughs> podcast, listen to this one first and then uh, head over to our channel and listen to that one. Um, so last time we talked about all of the trials and tribulations leading up to the moment we got into China. Mm. And today we're just going to talk about um, our experience of the people of China. Zhengzhou. Of Zhengzhou, more specifically. Well, I mean, we can talk about uh, yeah, China widely, but Zhengzhou is what we know um, and love, mm. so... Yeah. Yes, or well, what we know. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, who would like to start? What, sh- what shall we talk about first? Shall we talk about the people? Because we're also going to talk We're also going to talk about our children. Our, our, our children. children. <laughs> the kids that our we teach. Children. Our school children. Our school children, our students. But we can talk about them after we've spoken about the general public mm. um, because they're very interesting people. Um, Tom has created a list, so <laughs> Tom, you can read off the first mm. thing that you've uh, noted down. Well, the first thing we really observed, I would say, when we first experienced China <laughs> was um, at the Yinchuan airport when we first touched down in China and me and Amy experienced a man openly spitting and snotting all over the place um, and we later discovered that it happens everywhere in China. People do it on the road, in the streets, on the floor, <coughs> out their car windows, and out car windows and they just don't really care. It's just normal. It's just normal behaviour. We walked through security, <clears throat> got through and the guy literally walked over to a bin he gathered up, they do this noise. It's like they're about to cough, it's a but hock. then it's like a. It's called a hock. We call it. Is it? Everyone actually, calls it yeah, a hock. Okay. It's build up the hock. Build up phlegm. People will know what it means. Oh, nice description. Should we demonstrate the sounds? <laughs> Shall we have a contest so you can do the best hock and then Please. the people listening no. can decide? No. Please, I no. think it will hurt the microphone more, so <laughs> maybe we shouldn't. But we walked through security and he literally built this one up, spat it into the bin, and then, and then he like snotted without using his hands which they do believe is more hygienic than using a tissue no with using his hands he uses it no he didn't use his hands like he had like his oh. hands were behind his back what oh, he snotted God. into the thing. i yeah. thought he just kind of like did that no like, no no it from... he li- like <laughs> shot it out, <laughs> it out oh, yeah. and it wasn't even <laughs> wow. like he had one finger on the other nostril to like yeah that's no, that's, both nostrils at the same impressive. time. That is, impressive. that is impressive. Normally you have to like build up the power in one, but to well, yeah. shoot them out like a... Of, that's like, crazy. Plain that's crazy. You know what, up, this yeah. makes total sense now. You guys have talked about this a lot. <laughs> and I completely, like, it, you know, it's weird and it's gross, but I was like, yeah, I've seen people do that. It's gross, but the fact that he didn't even use his... That mm-hmm. completely was, changed it. And I was so shocked that that was basically the first thing I ever saw of China. Yeah. Just this man doing that. And I looked straight at it and I don't know why. Because never, if you hear that noise, don't look. Mm. Never look. Never, ever look. And watch where you're walking as well. Because (laughs) there's piles of it on the street. We we found it in in shopping malls, you know, where where it's just a a nice clean floor and then you'll just see a splat. A a greenie, to be honest. A greenie? Yeah, a greenie. It's (laughs) disgusting. I've never seen a greenie. It's bleak. But the one thing I think about. This whole thing is, we've experienced it now. All of us have had mm. coughs, have had bad throats, and I'd probably put that down to pollution. the smog, mm. the pollution. Mm. It's very real, guys. That's a it's question I get asked loads is, like, because I do post on my stories what the air quality index is, but people ask me, like, can you feel it? Can you, can you smell it? Oh, yeah. And sometimes <clears throat> you can't smell it, though. You can't really the, feel it. You can't smell it, but when you take a deep breath in, you feel your like you have to cough. So the one thing when we touch back in England is I'm just going to take a nice deep breath <laughs> of that sweet of that English sweet air. Sweet one air quality. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I can't wear. I can't. Blah, 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 blah. I cannot wait to smell the Lincolnshire shit fields. Mm. I just cannot. 
Just out of interest. It's yeah, not the sewage of, of I, I ginger. Actually can, I can smell the pollution. Once it's past about 250, yeah. for reference, Louth and, and Lincolnshire is one. Yeah. Like yeah. One air quality index. London was, what, 50? 50, 50, 56 maximum. That's basically as high as it can go there. At the moment, it's currently 184 which is pretty good for Jungjo. Yeah. Pretty the good. highest it's been is 500. We've had one day of 500 and we were like, are we going into school today? Because some days they'll have smog days smog days where they don't go in because the pollution's too high. Yeah. And we were like, surely today is a day where the pollution is too high. But nope, um, they were all in school. I thought there was going to be like two or three kids in my class, yeah. but there were more than ever. Well, obviously, Becky did say to us, she was like, makes sense. when it gets over 700. But every time... But initially she said, oh, when it gets to 500... We might cancel school. We came in on that day and she said, oh no, it's seven to eight hundred. Yeah. So I think when we eventually get to 700 air quality, they'll probably yeah. say it's a thousand, you know. See, I didn't even know numbers could go that high. Yeah, so. I didn't. Numbers for air quality or just numbers in general? <laughs> <laughs> I got a C at maths and I was very lucky to get a C at maths. So yeah. um, I'll, I'll let you decide that. But um, that, that day with the 500 wasn't, I thought... Because we looked at our phones before we looked outside, really, and I thought it would be just white. But I think it was <coughs> a day of three hundred, where it yes. was. It was like there was mist mm. everywhere. We filmed. We took a lot of videos and pictures and stuff because there were buildings down our street. In fact, there were buildings in our apartment complex that we couldn't even see because it was so. You can see the tops of thick. the next yeah. block. But yeah. it, it just depends on which factories, like which way the wind is blowing. I think it's the tobacco factory that releases the highest PM 2.5 or it's like particles in the air or whatever it is. Mm. Sometimes you can actually smell that in the air, but it doesn't create any any heavy fo- any um, smog. But it's the car pollution, I think, that creates the worst. Uh, the Gangly Reservoir or I don't know which factor it is, but it just really depends on what the wind's doing and, yeah. um, and we're, we're in a, cars as well. We're right in the middle <clears throat> of China, so we don't have any... Uh, wind from the sea to blow everything <coughs> out so basically we're just stuck in the middle and it's now getting co- uh, very cold so the, the air is pushing it all down onto us mm. and we're really suffering so that yeah. is maybe why everybody spits and all over the place because yeah. it's like smoking 20 a day just from breathing the, sm- uh, the uh, smoke I don't think it's quite as bad as 20 I think no. <laughs> well no no but <laughs> Delhi is like Twenty a day, so that is a, a reality. But Delhi was it's like when it was. It's usually about two hundred and eighty, nearly three hundred there. But on the day when we had five hundred, it was worse than oh it was God. worse yeah, well, than Is it the Lawi? Yeah, Delhi. Yeah, Delhi, yeah, 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 yeah. They have excessive firework displays. So. Um, <laughs> Diva- Diwali, guys. Sorry, Diwali. Diwali. That, yes. We've come to a, we've come to a country to learn about more culture, <laughs> and we've just come we're completely yeah, the, ignorant the, to others now. So it's, it's pushed out other cultures. We know <laughs> yeah. too much now about spitting and. Yeah, yeah it yeah. has been so interesting. Like I don't think we we could have picked a job that was that gave us as much access to their culture as being a yeah, teacher. It's, you're, like, you're we, thrown. Thrown so, into the yeah. deep end. Thrown right into the deep end, and yeah. the spitting was just one of the things. Yeah, that was the, just the first thing that we noticed that was yeah. strange. Yeah, literally within about fifteen minutes of landing, that's when we first yeah. saw it, and it was. A, um, we'll get we we'll get we'll get into Hong Kong in another podcast, but on our train to Hong Kong, for the whole six-hour train that me and Beth were on on the way to Shenzhen, uh, there was just a guy hocking and oh. hocking and hocking yeah. for the full. No, it was a Train. woman. Was it a woman? It, no. I'm like 90% sure. I don't know if I remember seeing her, but I thought it was like a, a middle-aged to old woman. Christ. Just like... Oh. Well, <laughs> well, that is just way. a tiny that, noise of what it sounds like. That's of what it is. But um, I remember Shen... 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 Or Shen... I don't think it is as China-wide as... I think it's it's definitely Zhengzhou, maybe like north or mid... China because no one did that in in Shenzhen. No one did it in Hong Kong. No. When before we came to Zhengzhou, I remember reading um, on like a expat page on Facebook, and it, someone had commented like it was the wild, wild west of China. <laughs> um, and you were you, it is like a combination of rural, poor meats, <clears throat> CBD, mm. industrial, 
Yes. Well, it's, it's just, like the build up of those two. Yeah. It's like cyberpunk. It, it <laughs> yeah. doesn't. It doesn't clash, does it? So yeah, we'll talk about the older generation, and mm. they are they, they are very much uh, amazed by us at times. Like yeah. they will they will be just walking down the street normal, and then they'll see us coming around the corner, and, and they will stop. stop in their tracks. They will stop and stare at us in amazement, mm. and. That's probably because they lived because fifteen years ago or whatever in Jungjo it was a lot of farmland and they've probably never experienced white people as much there living are, on the farm. There are white people here, like we we do know like a there little are a lot. There are a lot expat of white community, here, but yeah, but the, I, you don't you don't see many people. No, Jungjo, no well, it's no. because Jungjo is so massive as well, and the, huge, the percentage yeah. is tiny yeah. compared to how huge Jungjo is. So you. You know, even now it's crazy when we walk down a street or when we're in a mall and we see another white person, we're like, <gasps> like we've become one of mm. them. We just stare at them or we like, oh, obviously if they see us, we say hi and stuff. Yeah. Although some of them are not that friendly. Like no. some Probably of them very Russian. much like kind of look away and they're like, they don't want to associate. When we went to Metro this weekend, we walked out the entrance and there were three girls and they were like, oh, other white people. Yeah, they were like, American. That's the true reaction. The Americans like, oh my god, white people. And I was yeah. just like, yeah, we're all here. We're <laughs> yeah. all, we made it. it but then the, maybe the Russians might be not as friendly. There's a lot of Russians here. As, yeah. as They're a, great. To be fair, yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've met we've a lot bonded. of Russians. <laughs> Me and Beth work with two of them and a lot of them are really, really nice. A lot of them are mm. lovely people. Mm. There was one guy though. I won't name him. He's probably not listening. But he kept, we went. So we went to this bar, and <laughs> and for the this guy was pissed out of his mind, and um, he just he looks at me, and for whatever reason he said, "How old are you? Twelve? And for the rest of the night he was saying, "Oh my God, you're twelve years old. You're twelve years old. How old are you? You're twelve years old." He was like, and he was like six foot. <laughs> And you're all like, what? No, he foot? was not six foot. He was shorter like, than me. He was, yeah. like, he he was, was five foot six. He was five foot six. Five foot six, five foot six, five foot six really? At, at the most, probably. He was most. He was just a very strange bloke, wasn't he? And, yeah. yeah. And you're six foot? I'm six foot two. Yeah. Just under, but every, yeah, six foot two. <laughs> <Six laughs> <foot laughs> Why would you say about that? that? <laughs> Sorry, I'm editing yeah. that out. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. That was, but other than that, no, they're all, even he was likeable at first, and then he pissed me off. But Yeah, very annoying. Um, no, they're all, they're all... That's why you should drink, Ed. <laughs> uh, they're, all, they're all lovely, to some extent. Um, no, they're all very nice, from the ones we've spoken to. They're all very nice. Um, I've got, just to put out there, I have no issues with Russian people. Me neither. <laughs> Officially, just... me neither. <laughs> me Amy neither. does. Also, <laughs> no. Russians know how... Well, this was a, a common uh, fact before, but they know how to party. They do. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Really and they know how to do. throw... A good party, like we had a really good time on Halloween. Um, yeah, that was great. There's a, a that bar. was that night. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that was that night. I get caught. Yeah. There's a few Cap specific Cap bars that foreigners mingle in. Um, they're all quite far from each other, which is annoying. It's not like some like one you yeah. know particular area that you have to go and drive and specifically be in that bar all night. Um, but they threw a Halloween party and it was very Western. There was like. A movie being projected on the wall, and there was all. Corpse Bride. Great no, uh, Night Before oh, Christmas. Oh, Night Before Christmas. Yeah. Same, same, same difference. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and just like uh, our kind of music, a good mm. mix, bit of Depeche Mode was on. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a re- it was a really good night, and yeah. we have to do. Hopefully, there'll be a Christmas version. That'd be good. Yeah, mm. yeah. We've had a few good nights out there, like. We actually won the film trivia night, didn't we? We did. We won against our first one team. Oscar. Yes. <laughs> we, we competed against one team, uh, and they Don't were not the bothered. Don't put the clapboard too near the microphone. Yeah. No, I won't put it too close, but this is what we won. A clapboard. We won yeah. a clapboard. And an Oscar. And an Oscar. Yeah. Very but small as I say, one, we but... played against a team, one team, that At didn't three participate. Teams. Initially didn't three participate. teams. Yeah. Who gave up because it was spike. too bloody hard, yes, and we it was hard. It were was pushing difficult. through. Yeah, um, it was crap. But anyway, back to people. Yeah, the yeah. people of the Chinese people who were all interested. The people in of the Chinese. People. So, so old people <laughs> stop and stare, whereas the younger people with their iPhones and all that sort of technology take photos like, discreetly. They take photos of us, Not but they so don't discreetly. ask. They don't ask for a photo. They take photos without us looking, as they said. And it's, it's, at first it's quite a novelty, but now it's very annoying. 
Well, it depends. Sometimes they do it discreetly. But most of the time, they leave the flash on. <laughs> and most of the time, they giggle. Yes. And sometimes, they do it right in front of your face and they take a video. They, they are, actually, I would say the majority of them are definitely not discreet. When we went to the Henan Museum, mm. <laughs> it's quite dark in there and it was just flash after flash after flash. Yeah. And um. at first it's like, haha, yeah, smile for the photo, but like when you're having a bad day or you just want to eat your food, you don't want to be stared at, you don't want to have your photo taken, you just want to be left alone. Yeah. And now you feel sorry for celebrities, really, don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're like celebrities. <laughs> I remember when we were in um, Kaifeng, that's another story for another podcast, um, uh, we were like just chilling out just because we'd been walking around for about a couple of hours and we just sat down somewhere and this family, this oh, mum yeah. and two, two kids, two kids um, just walked past and they were going, hello, hello, hello. And then the mum like said, oh, go over to them and get, get a photo with you. At least <laughs> I think that's what she said. Um, and then she got a photo with us and that like when that happens, yeah. it's real nice because the, the Chinese kids, like, they're lovely. They're all mm. really, really lovely. Um, it's just the older people, as we mentioned, they just, they just either they're, unfortunately, either they're racist or they just have never seen a white person before. Mm. And that is sometimes the case. It's, yeah. Well, they're so unused to foreigners that in the case of the Dennis Freshmar incident, mm-hmm. oh, they that's... don't even know what a foreign person doesn't know. Like... So we went to this supermarket, it was around the corner, for, it wasn't our usual one, but we, we I don't know, why did we go there? Um, this is closer sorry, to the other supermarket yeah. that we went um, to. It was completely dead, um, and it was just so Chinese, is the <laughs> only way I can describe it, it was just, it was, it was almost like a little warehouse or something, yeah. like it's just, um, but anyway, we just got our bits and bobs, and then we went to the till, and the woman behind the till, or those two women, were just like, in shock at us you know oh wow look at these white people so we were like yeah yeah whatever um they rang us up and then they were like they said a number in chinese to the price and we were like what's that we you know we don't know you know what's that in english usually they just kind of turn the till slightly or they put it on a calculator and show you the like 273 or whatever but she was just no matter how many times we said ting budong which means Mm. i don't understand or um you know, Bougie we don't down. speak, yeah, bourgeois doubt. Um, she just was saying the number in Mandarin over and over again. And we just, we, it, we were hot and we were tired and we were mm. just like, they. and then when we finally got her to show it, she was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, and it's like, <laughs> she'd never seen a foreign person before and didn't even, it didn't cross her mind that we wouldn't know what mm. our ba san was yeah. or whatever. Yeah. It's just... But I think that also plays into that's 23 two by two the way. 283. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 283, yeah. So. <laughs> it also plays into the, to like that lack of common sense. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, because don't that have is a sense. big thing here. That is a big, big thing. Um, and I don't know whether it stems from their language because there's not really any elaborate words. They just have to repeat themselves with different Context. other words different yeah. yeah different contexts to make themselves understood mm. so maybe that has that plays into it or something but well like it's like really frustrating we, we wanted <laughs> a, a, a drink or something and we was like given the signal hand, for a hand drink. signal for a drink yeah you just tip the cup towards your mouth and she was clueless this woman Where was you, that? <sighs> maybe milk maybe something I was like just I can't thinking remember, it probably milk yeah, yeah but anyway this is the our Italian restaurant that's near us, but that she just did not have a clue what I was trying to get the gist of, and it's quite obvious, really. It's it's really obvious. Yeah. So sometimes they just lack that common sense. Yeah. But a similar thing, we went to Pizza Hut because they do have quite a lot of Western chains here, mm. which is honestly a godsend when we come here. It's like <laughs> very cool. You know, we like trying new things and all that jazz, but sometimes you just want a Starbucks or you just want Dairy something. Queen. Well, Dairy Queen always. But, um, <laughs> we went to Pizza Hut and I ordered stupidly an iced latte, which was disgusting and it, it, it tasted completely bland and it wasn't. It didn't have a shot of anything in it. And I was struggling through it. And then I was like, um, I asked Amy's sister, who speaks Mandarin, if she could ask the waitress for some sugar. And the waitress came over and Olivia said, 
She pointed to the coffee, she asked for sugar, and the waitress looked a bit confused, and she repeated tang, which is sugar, and Olivia's going, yeah, and they had like a five minute back and forth. Da -da -da -da. Really, you want sugar? Yes, blah, blah, blah. And she, Olivia kept pointing to the coffee. So she goes, and she comes back with a bowl of potato soup. <laughs> <laughs> which we were like what <laughs> olivia goes mayo like yeah, what are yeah. you doing what? and apparently tongue like the word for soup is similar to sugar but pointing at coffee i think shows yeah. i want sugar and they had a back and forth about this but still this woman thought oh right it, it must be soup mm. but, you know look at this liquid it's not soup yeah i don't know well, it's, it's the same when we speak that. to taxi drivers and things like well, taxi drivers is... Well, <laughs> that's a whole other story. Well, the thing is, thing. Kinder kindergarten in, in Chinese light is U-I-U-N. But if you say it in any way differently, it can mean a completely different thing. Well, Much you, like you nai oh, means yeah. milk, but if you say it in a different context, in a different meaning, it means grandmother. <laughs> so it's very hard to communicate as an English person, especially as a Yorkshire person, who is so monotone within his speech... You can't you can't get your message across at all. Just mm. just to just to pick up on that Yorkshire person thing. How do you say door, Tom, in the class? Door. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing we kind of have to teach with an American accent. You I definitely. Don't. I don't. I don't. Apart from yes, door. Yes, you do. I definitely don't. I right, definitely 100%. do. All right, kids. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got e bag gum. Yeah. Who's got the oh, Yorkshire my... pudding? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <coughs> Well, now we've mentioned taxi drivers. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's talk I think about that's a them. Great segue. Um, we've had lots and lots and lots of different experiences with taxi <laughs> drivers. Some of them have been good. Great. A lot of them have been goddamn terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have had so many near-death experiences. I've <laughs> lost it's count. So true. It is unbelievable. <clears throat> you might have. All right. So, um, well, I can't remember if this was from Tetiana. I think it was. Um, one of our close by malls, which is like a 10 minute taxi ride away, is um, we were getting a taxi back from there and we had a lot of shopping. It might not have been City Mall, City on actually, no, it was 360. It was 360, yeah. sorry, which is a bit further away. But regardless, we were getting a taxi back and this guy had a death wish. Mm. He had a death wish mm. and on the way to 360, you can go, or on the way back rather, you can go on the freeway, which basically you can go above uh, the city in a way. And he was literally pelting yeah. down this, down the highway at like, must have been 80 kilometers. And um, the amount of near scrapes we had with a bus, a car. Oh my God, yeah. The amount, I was just, panting, heavy breathing, <laughs> shitting, my, shitting myself. And we had, and I was like, I'm gonna die <laughs> with some fucking cereal in my hands. I'm gonna die with Kellogg's <laughs> juice, Bickies yeah. and Bickies. pasta in my hand and not even like in China, get to see no my yeah. friends again. So it's just, the thing with I'd driving, have to die with As Tom. well, just, just on top of that, you only put your seatbelt on if you are the driver or in the passenger side. Well, back, the back, Seats don't have them, yeah. so you, you're screwed. Um, well, sometimes yeah. the taxi drivers aren't really fussed if you put your seatbelt on, but you know that when your taxi driver asks you to put on your seatbelt... <laughs> it's going to be a rocky ride. Yeah, but the driving here is they weave in and out of traffic constantly. They ride two lanes a lot. Yeah, they and they're either lanes. really slow or really fast. There is literally no in-between, and... Um, forgot what I was going to say. I had another point. Well, there's a, there's oh, a yeah, thing the beat, in... The honking. Mm. The they sound, honk for everything. The, the like, sound, of, the sound of China honk. is car horns. <laughs> that is the car horns and people spitting. That is, that is, <laughs> that is China's sound. <clears throat> that is... If you could, that should be their national anthem. Just like and, no, and in the background, just the Tai Chi music that the old ladies oh, do. Of course, oh, that's yeah. brilliant. Stuff. That would make lovely yeah, stuff. That's a great backing track. Yeah. yeah. So just quick context. Um, the stereotype of a bunch of, you know, Chinese people doing Tai Chi on the water side or the street corner it's is absolutely true. true. It's true. quite heartwarming to see mm. um, because Full they've got a, yeah, just a bunch of 
they've got quite a big elderly population here and it's sweet to see them every night in the same place doing some yeah. dance moves and some you know in all weathers really um, every single morning me and tom go to go to gracefield on the way down you can there's like a massive crowd of them all dancing to some music mm. and stuff it's really sweet Pretty cool yeah. Mm. Back onto taxi drivers. Yeah, well, uh, there's a rule in China where you can turn right no matter when. Mm. Like, if you're driving and you're in a T junction or any kind of junction, you can turn right. And so if you're just driving down the road, there'll be cars pulling out from the right hand side all of the time. And that means that you have to go over to the next lane and then everybody else, and it's just a big, massive butterfly effect. So. And, and, and also putting in pedestrians that can cross at any time, basically. Also the cars that can turn right at any time. It's just a complete disaster, really. Well, yeah, when the pedestrians have the green light, cars that can ter- can still turn right. Yeah. Mm. The amount of near, again, more near misses with um, mm. uh, e-bikes and people. Yeah. Um, like I've I've not seen a crash yet, and I'm shocked. Yeah, I was gonna say the weird side effect of this manic driving is that multiple times, not maybe I'd say like four or five times, the um, traffic lights have been broken. We've, mm. we've been driving down the street. And there's been like big junction with no traffic lights, but because they're all so used to being aware of each other or unaware of each other and sort of slipping in and out it just kind of still functions exactly mm. the same. I think if the traffic lights in the UK all stopped working, I think no one would go to work. Like, it would, it would be <laughs> hell. Um, but here, it's just just like, yeah, yeah, get on with your day. It'll be back in the afternoon. It's, it's... Talking about e-bikes, <clears throat> you have to look both ways, not only when you're crossing the road, but when you're crossing a pavement, because e-bikes are everywhere, all over the pavements, all over the little e-bike things all over the zebra crossings i am yet to be run over but i've had very like near misses to being run over by one of them seen a few people fall off their bikes well, i've seen one yeah oh yeah and i saw that guy you knew saw that guy with the rubber egg with the rubber egg <laughs> <laughs> for a what? prank the rubber egg that was rolling it, this was like we the first there. month we were here and I, it was the time that i took my first trip to the supermarket on my own and i got lost <laughs> And oh, I went yeah. to the pharmacy, didn't it's, you? Yeah. And I went to the pharmacy. It's two turns, by the way, guys. It's two yeah, turns. Well, There's a left turn and then a right turn, and then it's on the left hand side the of, of the street. The fronts of the shop look very similar, and I don't read do. Chinese. Do. They've all got flaps. They've all got flaps in there. In yeah. Their front. Okay, that's yeah. A, that's the cap on flaps there. Um, <laughs> so I was walking back, and um, I just heard this. I was looking like to cross the road, and I just hear this screech and this guy who has been coming full pelt down the road on his e-bike with six suitcases on and himself, um, which is just, <laughs> a, <laughs> just like floors it. He goes skidding across the floor. The suitcases go everywhere. None of them open though, but they all just kind of roll around everywhere. Oh, no. And then just, I just see a rubber egg like roll down what? the street from his mo- I was like, why was he carrying that? Like. Where's he going that was that's necessary? Just a ball or was it a genuine egg shape? It was like, an, yeah, it was an egg, <laughs> egg colour, egg. It was just like bouncing down the street. <laughs> I was like... I mean, two hard boils. Turn left at the end of the road. <laughs> um, so I like, I, I went to help him and I got some of his suitcases and stuff. And Did you get the egg? I did not. I, was, I thought, shall I run after the egg? And then I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. But um, And he said thank you and he was like, he seemed really shook up, but he was oh. all right. He wasn't injured or anything. And, and cars were beeping at him and stuff. And I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <all that. laughs> give me a break. There is no sympathy. Yeah. There is no sympathy. He People died. Died. Oh, no. People he died. died. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in the way, you've got... They literally... If, if you are, are a driver or if you're in a car and they miss the lights changing for even a split second everybody honks at you yeah. and literally everybody behind it's like you, you got to like, start setting off Ow. you got to start setting off as the um other cars going across you that their, their lights are turning yeah. orange yeah. you got to yeah. put your car into drive and then ready, set, when it goes go. red off you go like bang <laughs> or else you'll be honked at and that's mm. never nice um, they don't care though Oh, no. they're on, on the, the phone. Oh, they're on no. the phone all the time. Like if if this was in England, um, 
Literally. There would be no drivers. Yeah. <laughs> there would Literally. be no drivers. Literally. There'd just be Terrible. e-bikers, that is it. So mm. we should probably now mention taxi drivers with their very, very long fingernails, oh, which is, this is a lovely topic. I so think. we started noticing yeah. this, like, pretty much straight away as soon as we arrived that <clears throat> all their pinkies... Well, actually, some other fingers as well. Maybe a thumbs thumb. Thumbs as well. Oh, thumb thumbs two. are the worst. That makes me thumbs cringe are the worst. so bad. But the pinkies are so long, and we never really knew why. And then the other day, I posted a photo um, on my Instagram stories, and someone replied to me and said, it's so they can snort cocaine. But I find it very hard to believe that taxi drivers in China can afford cocaine. Well, let's be honest, they drive like they're on it, so yeah. it could well be a possibility. So I asked um, one of the teachers at school, just out of the blue, see if she knew. And it turns out that in China, if your pinky finger is... I don't know how to explain this. If, if it's shorter than the, I guess, the second joint yeah. that's underneath in the, like ring the nail bit, on the ring finger, if it's shorter than that, it's bad luck. But if if it's longer than that, it's good luck. So that's why they grow what? their nail. Apparently, like this teacher <clears throat> at the school has told us many different things, such as ticking your pulse will diagnose your <laughs> cough, bad cough. So mm. you know, I take everything that no, she, she says with a pinch of salt. She said some people believe it. It's like it's y- not yeah, that she course. believes it. But yeah, but we've also heard it's a lucky charm as well. I think so, medicine you know. and hospitals are for another podcast. Yeah. That is also <laughs> that an is hour's a good worth one. of content there. Yeah, so. yeah, that definitely. is a good one. Yeah. That our whole health check was just a f- absolute. That mess, was actually the first time anecdote. that a woman approached me and said, "Oh." take a picture of you and she took a photo of me just by yourself just after my house very strange hmm. very strange yeah anyway um yeah i'm i'm more in favor of the cocaine idea <laughs> yes i did post a poll because and it was like 97 percent of people voted for, I cocaine. Voted for why cocaine why specifically taxi drivers though like true have you seen them driving right <laughs> yeah, no, but why would it be just I under, yeah, they drive like the wrong cocaine, it's, but what? It's going to be a lucky charm, isn't it? They're not going yeah, to yeah, be focused. Yeah. We're not that stereotypical. <laughs> but I think it's cocaine. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. <clears throat> yeah. So another thing of Chinese people, we would say, is that we, don't, do never, we never know if they are arguing or agreeing. Yeah. They speak in the same tone, the same mm. like level of loudness in every conversation. Volume. It's, that was what I was after. Thank <laughs> but they, that's not just Leave typically alone. Chinese, though, is it? <clears throat> well, well, when no. When the Spanish but... and people like oh, that, yeah. they, yeah. they get Russians. loud. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can... Russians, yes. <laughs> it's just... I, loud be, boys. Yeah, it's just... Because the Chinese language is so complicated, it's just hard. It's just such a hard thing to decipher. Uh, like, so many times in my class, Ha- in my KBC class specifically, have my uh, one of my teachers and the dinner lady or the other teacher has just been just like almost shouting at the top of their lungs about something might be to do with the kids or the lessons, whatever, and then they're just laughing because they're joking. They're not having an argument. <laughs> they're joking about what they're talking about, and but they're doing it at such a high level of loudness. It's, so it's just uh it's all horrible almost like i'm like should i intervene <laughs> should i watch should i stare or should i look away and how would you intervene just yeah like what would you do with your hands either oh. side of them oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's occurred in oh and then uh, i assume they'd be like oh governor stacy <laughs> yeah um no, like, oh kevin and tracy kevin and tracy <laughs> kevin and tracy <laughs> we're very much into governor stacy we should moment. we should just do a podcast on governor stacy at some point i can't do yeah. the accent well enough oh um no oh. anyway um yeah it's just the whole thing is re- it's so it's mad it's mad i don't i mean speaking of the language you're Sister Amy's sister again knows she well when she did Chinese at university she had lecturers that had been lecturing for twenty years and had only just grasped the language fully. Um, really? Yeah. yeah. Um, and we we met a guy called 
Paul. Paul. Yeah. Paul. Our mate yeah. Paul. Yeah. Um, we met well, him at, you we, guys we, met Paul. We, just, just for the record, we met him at <laughs> a dinner, which the government invited us to, by the way. Big deal. The government. Yeah. <laughs> so we went there dressed. To impress. To unsmartly, I'd say. I was, I was wearing a granddad collar shirt. I shouldn't have been there. I was, wearing well, black, I was wearing black jeans. We shouldn't have been there full stop. I was wearing black what jeans. We were wearing. I like how our bus made him made it look like he was there the whole yeah, night. Yeah, he posted <laughs> yeah, photos. Bless and he was like, him. Mm, "Great night." So anyway, yeah, Bethel. Paul. Yeah. So um, he is. How old was he? Oh, when he was fifteen. He was yeah, fifty-something-year-old yeah. guy from Middlesbrough who um, <laughs> who teaches over here and yeah. So he's been living here sixteen years and again just. Not a great grasp on, on the language, yeah. um, which is, you wouldn't even need to make a conscious effort if you've been living somewhere for 16 years. You should be almost fluent, mm. I would think. But that's just a testament to how hard Mandarin is. and It's so difficult. Yeah. Personally, I think he hasn't been trying because he's married to a Chinese wife. And she speaks English and Chinese, mm. and Chinese obviously. Mm. So <clears throat> I, I think he didn't require much effort. You have which... to have a very sharp ear because... Mm. They speak so quickly and it's so different to English. It's just... When they speak and they're gobbling away and I hear a word, I'm like, wow, I knew that. Mm. Woman. Yeah. They just said we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even when, Neiman, it's like, oh, yeah. they. <laughs> even, even when I hear that, I still can't hear it because it's just like, it just whizzes past. Yeah. yeah it whizzes yeah. past. We've kind of <clears throat> learnt to pick up words because when we're in the taxi, coming back to taxis again, um... They do ask you questions if they are like quite shocked that there's a white person in this taxi. Um, and if you hear the word Nali, <laughs> that means where. So you're like, oh, he's asking us where we're from. And we've all learned how to say Yingua, which means England. Mm. Um, and but other than that, I have no idea what. So as soon as I hear the word Nali, I'm like, right, I know what he's asking me. Or if you hear. Da, 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 da. Megwa. Megwa means America. Yeah. For some uh, reason, they always assume you're American first. Or Russian as well. Yeah. I, yeah, I don't know what that Russian is. Then. It sounds. No. It sounds like it's Russian. Like, effect, you're, yeah. It's something in your guai. It's like the guai bit, oh, isn't it? And it's like. Guai. I don't know. I've tried <laughs> that. Up. Probably. Someone in the comments can be like. <laughs> yeah, someone can tell us. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've got a story now for all of my whole folk. Yes, I'm so <laughs> interested. I'm on the edge of my seat. So, so, um, yeah, so we went to a, a pub back within the first a month pub. or so. Well, it's a pub, wasn't it? In no, it wasn't a pub. It was a what was it? it was um, um, Rockies. Yeah, Rockies. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh right. It was a bar. <laughs> a bar. Anyway, it was like so a first night. Out. I was we, gonna say like, where, where were we? <laughs> <laughs> we were there. Yeah, you was we there. Yeah, there. we on, we walked into Go this on, into this bar <laughs> slash pub slash club and. We bumped into these guys, these two guys, and they introduced themselves, and they were English. And I think they were maybe the only English people we've met here, mm. surprisingly. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, apart from Paul, obviously. And we just got talking, and he asked, one of them asked me where I was from, and obviously I mentioned Hull. And he was like, oh, wow, I went to Hull Uni in 1980. And obviously, the three. We're in the middle of Jungja, in the middle of communist China, and there's this man telling me that he went to uh, Uni Hall in 1980, and he said to me, oh, is, is Spiders still open? <laughs> which is an infamous nightclub in, really in Hull, is. which is the strangest place you've ever been. And he described what it was back in 1980, and it hasn't changed one bit. <laughs> not, not one bit. And I reckon um, good old Johnny is... It was back in there in the day. You don't know who Johnny is, but yeah. Johnny, I know who Johnny is. Johnny's the guy who wears the fishnet tights. He is, oh, is yeah. He? yeah. You did yeah, ask about yeah, that probably, guy. Uh, he was like, oh, is there a guy might, there? Yeah, I think so, yeah, yeah. And that tells you around. everything you need to know about, about spiders in one sentence. There you go. Don't go, it's horrible. I you, love can it's you great. Just, can you just, yeah, go over this for me because obviously I didn't go to Hull. I think what? I've only been <laughs> a hand, like two actual Hull, a handful of times. And maybe not everyone listening to this will be from Hull, yeah. born and bred. So, what is Spiders? So, Spiders is a, a nightclub um, in in quite a dodgy part of town. It's like just on the outside near near, near the casino, or whatever. Yeah, it's near Napoleon's. But anyway, and it's 
That's no reference to me, is it? And yeah. it's been open since <laughs> the the seventies. It's a, it's a very it's strange old, place to play. And there's a reason why it's called Spiders. They basically. play. It's a dark and dingy place. Alcohol is still like one pound fifty for a <laughs> when, drink. Sorry, to interject. When I went, they were playing so much WWE entrance music. I was actually having a good time for that. <laughs> for that, like Dave they had like Rob Van Dam. We went together. And you abandoned me. Yeah, I did. And left me with. I left. I left. After, <laughs> I can't remember. I, you'll have to tell me. You left after like twenty minutes. Yeah, I know because I was having a horrible, horrible time. I was like, all these. I'm looking. I look around. Remember, I don't drink. I'm looking around, and these people <laughs> are dressed in like men. Gimp out. Nothing. I'm not. This is nothing against men wearing fishnet tights. I just felt very uncomfortable. <laughs> I didn't want to be there, so I left. Yeah, there's gas masks. There's there's, what? there's everything. No, there's it's... a guy that walks around in like leather speedos with maybe like a leather vest on. Well, when I went, he did, and he has like one of those spiky collars on, and like. Big chunky platform shoes, just walking around. But not dancing, by the way. All accounts. Just he's a very hovering. nice bloke. So I'm not gonna judge. Nice bloke. And he has a certain style of fashion. It sounds like there's more freaks in there than in the entirety of Chester, I think. <laughs> so I really wanna go. It's it's we a great go. night. It's a great night. We won't go. We'll we go. will go. We'll, we'll, do, go. Go. we'll do a nightclub we're crawl not, when not, we go back. We're not going we can spend 20 minutes there. Right? But, all right, at least, are we uh, here yeah, to be talking about well, Spider's well, Nightclub? You well, brought it up. One pod- I'm finishing it. This is- one podcast we will talk about whole for an entire 90 uh, I won't be present. Oh, well, I'll <laughs> skip that one. Yeah. Why don't we talk about kids? Yes, let's. Let's talk yeah, about Let's talk about our, our students. Let's talk about the Because <laughs> <laughs> that'll, make, <laughs> that'll make us um, happy because... Taxi drivers make us angry. <laughs> some. Yeah. Some taxi mm. drivers make us angry. People hocking in the street make us angry. To be fair, sorry, come back to taxi drivers again. We um, have started to be able to like book them online now um, on and our phones, yeah. and they are great. And yesterday, me and Tom got into a taxi, and it was usual asking us where we were from, and he he said something, and I had to get Google Translate out. And he was saying, oh, I hope you have a very a, a good time in Zhengzhou and that your job makes you happy. Hmm. And I was like, that's so nice. Yeah. That's so nice. You always get that one diamond in the dirt. That and kind it of does make it, it for yeah, some of them, yeah. Okay, right. Let's Children. talk Let's talk about our kids, specifically the names of them. <laughs> because Perfect. I'd say almost almost all of our kids, I know you, you, Tom and Amy, have a couple of classes which you cannot stand. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a couple of kids that I cannot stand, but it's the names that we're on about yeah. today. And the names, some of them will will start easy and then we'll work our way up <laughs> well, to the talk, strangers. Just before we talk about their English names, should we talk about their Chinese names? Because I, know, I don't know any I, of the Chinese. I, Do you not? I know well, yeah, you have a couple. I know. I, know I just want to mention the girl called Ding Dong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean those, the nicknames, yes. the nicknames. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is, her English name is Mia, and she is smart as anything. She's great, she's so cute, and I only sussed the other day when the teachers were shouting, ding dong, ding dong, <laughs> and she was still in the bathroom, <laughs> and she came running, and I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to... Ding dong. I'm well, going to give away what I think right there, but yeah. The only weird... Um, Chinese names that I've heard is uh, Shui Shui or Shui Shui. I can't remember, but Shui in in Chinese means water. So water, 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 water. It's and then common. there's another one called Uh uh-uh. Uh. <laughs> that's, uh-uh. that's literally uh-uh. a name. It's uh-uh. a nickname. It's there's a nickname. loads of them called Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh, 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 uh. I've got, I've got a, a naughty kid, the naughtiest kid in. I teach two classes, and he's. The worst of them he's he's just so hyper he's so crazy he's he hates the other kids he's just like he's kind of the class bully and mm. his name is ha ha <laughs> so it's just so apt sometimes and i yeah. love it yeah. i have a, a dodo and a jojo so they're <laughs> always good dodo and jojo um <laughs> like mojo jojo from um, uh, <laughs> Powerpuff girls yeah <laughs> so yeah they're the only two chinese names that i can think from the top mm. of my head but like um, all right, we'll get into Eng- we'll get yeah, into the we'll English, English names now. Should so we do? Who wants to- Let's do tame ones. Let's do. Yeah, yeah why don't we we'll do go- the most common? Like I've made a collection of common okay, names. Okay, so cause- I have a Stephen. I have a Stephen. 
what should we oh we're going to go around yeah. in a circle but i just want to put put it out there that uh beth and ed they have a slightly different routine like a daily schedule than me and tom me and tom teach um, we teach about 200 kids yeah sometimes. so we have yeah so we have between us we have 200 kids <laughs> we have 300 yeah yeah um and so we, we have, have a 30 more. yeah because <laughs> we're because yeah. we're technically i don't want to say this we're we're babysitters babe well not yeah. we're the head teachers of our class basically well we're not we're not um we're the head teachers on paper on paper but you we can't look, speak Chinese. But we can't speak no. Chinese and we can't do anything. It's, it's stupid. So. Anyway, um, we look after two classes. Yeah. Um, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. And there's 15 in each around, yeah. thereabouts. So there's only 30 yeah. in total that we teach. Um, so we know all their names, whereas Amy and Tom don't, yeah. don't know all this. So there's probably still more to be revealed. There's still more to be discovered because two of my classes still have yet to, they've yet to put their names on their chairs. Mm. Um, but mm-hmm. obviously I've got a little collection here on paper of um, names that I hear a lot that are really popular and stuff mm. like that so the top one for me is Andrew and I have an really? Andy I have Andy. an Andy I, I also an have an Andy yeah. I don't have one Andy which is very surprising my most common name would probably be Elsa from Frozen <laughs> obviously I have I just prepared my Ed you go next um, so I, I mentioned Iva Steven. Does anyone Steven. have a see? I have a I have a Roki, which is quite I a Chinese a, English name. Is it Roki or is it Rocky? Because I have a Rocky. It is it is it is Rocky. But I go like when he says my name is Rocky, and I go ah, oh, well done, Roki, or something like that. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm still not sure to this day. I think it is Rocky, but I'll, it's Roki or Rocky. But yeah. yeah. It's the same, really. Yeah. I, I forgot um, about Elvis, one of my favourite children. That is a great name. He's adorable. And I also have a seven. Yeah. Um, I they're big on, sevens. yeah. Big on seven. I guess they just Google like, yes. English lucky number and mm. they just call their kid. <laughs> yeah, it. maybe. Yeah. They do do that. Like, that. we ask a few, like, friends and stuff, like, what their Chinese name means. And it usually does mean something. Mm. Yeah. Um, I have a. I have an. Like a lot in my KB1 class, they have old English names for some reason. Yes. So I have, I'll just list a couple off. I have an Eric, a Nancy, <laughs> a Wendy, a Murphy. Uh, that's not, it's not old, but it's, it's different. Not, it's different. It's not a common English name. Yeah, it's not common. Um, and it's well, a girl. And it's a girl. <laughs> uh, Stephen, um, God, I'm trying to think of who mm. else. Amy. I have an Amy. Amy. Amy's common. There's a lot of Amy's. Mm, and common. also, all the pretty much half of the names they end in the e sound because it's, it's very just easy very easy, easy to, to say. say. Yeah. I have some of the old English names again. I have a Doris. <laughs> <laughs> I have a Sorry, Governor Stacey is making a me laugh. Dora. The I Explorer. have Angela. Jolly. Eileen. Eileen's wow. a great one. That's a very good one. Um, one. We. Oh, what else? Oh, Linda. So I've got Eileen, which is my grandma. Linda's my mother. Uh, Bob. <laughs> Bob, Gary, Bob, <laughs> Jerry. I have a Jerry, Jerry, which is a good one. Alan, Bob. and Alan. Frank. 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 I have a Frank name. as well. Frank, and um, his Chinese name is Chi Chi, oh, which nice. is about as far from Frank as yeah. you can get. Um, <laughs> as far as girls' names go, I think, like you said, ones that end in E, like Annie, Emily, Judy. Lots of Judys in my class. Uh, Kitty as well. Candy. A lot of like keech names like that. Mm. Um, I have two Jessies. I have one in, one Jessie who's a twin, uh, and her twin is called Janie. So it's Jessie and Janie, the twins. How can you tell nice. them apart? Um, I can only tell them apart when they're sat on their chairs because they have their letters on them. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, oh, stand up. <laughs> I, I do look. That I too. peep I to, that. for the people listening. I peep to. I pretend. I look around the child so I can see what chair they're sat on and if it's a G it's Janie and if it's an I it's Jessie so they didn't even get letters next to each other no they didn't that's weird well it kind of helps because it separates yeah. them yeah but let- two different letters are I know either way for me <laughs> it helps you helpful it's so, they're so different I always they're get bunch. them to sit forward I'm like sit forward for me yeah <laughs> and like written on your chair. but they are li- they are as identical as you can get. Yeah, I lit- it's, well. it's it's real bad. One but, um, called Lucien. 
But yeah, a Jesse and a J- two Jessies and a Janie. I also have a Jesse, but that's not a kid. It's a mum. Oh. Ah. <laughs> that's for a different podcast. Probably. All right, shall we? Shall we? Oh, uh, shall we go it. into slightly weird names? Yeah. This is where I'm going to fall behind because Tom and Amy, they because they teach so many kids. We they have, have some a variety weird ones. and they oh, have these, some these absolute great. crackers. <laughs> Amy, Amy has so. the best because the because the children are so young, they're not really aware of. Of names and also the parents don't really speak English. My A2 class is just. They just pick any word that they can still... think of that's English, yeah. really. So we'll get into some of them. Okay, so. Um, I have I have a great one. Percy. Percy. I, I think it's such a great like name. Percy. Um, another weird one would be Mars. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a few. I've got a few yo-yos. <laughs> which is a good one. And I'll go with for now, Lucky. Lucky, yeah. that's a nice. We know of the Lucky. They we have a few Luckies. Lucky. They, they like to have Lucky. Mm. Mars. <laughs> Mars is great. Yeah. All right, Amy. I have a few names that make me laugh because I teach the younger kids, and they have such old man names like Roger, <laughs> Carl, <laughs> Alan. <laughs> Stephen, things like and just, that. It's and these just... are on two-year-old babies, aren't they? You know, it doesn't fit. <laughs> it really does. not like Roger. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Roger, the Chinese two-year-old. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. just—it's very strange. But I have some really obscure ones, like yeah. really, really obscure ones. I'd—I'd I'd say yeah. that only like these aren't. I can only come up with one obscure name. Okay. So I'm going to say that for the one. But um, I've got one or two rather. I've got an Arvin. That's a good one. That's a strange Arvin one. Arvin and Kingsley. 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 Oh, Kingsley. That just reminds me of Fresh Meat. And also, this yes. isn't funny. Like, it's not a funny name. Christina. But when she says it, because she has a lisp, it's hilarious. So she's like, my name is Christina. <laughs> You're so mean. I know, I laugh at her when she says it as well. In her face. Yeah. Like, ha ha ha, you Idiot. got a short tongue. Um, <laughs> Alright, go on, Beth. I, because, so, one of my classes, for some reason... One of my classes were all pretty much pre-named before I came in. So the teachers just asked the parents um, and the parents just let them know. Whereas for my second class, um, not many of them were pre-named. So I ended up naming a lot of mine. So as a result, apart from seven, um, they're all just kind of this, this, just like a, a Harrison in there. There's a, an Annie, a James, you know, because I just thought I'll gift them with a normal name <laughs> that won't haunt them my for the rest of their you. life. They'll um, change them when what they're was, older. What was Har- I remember this. Oh, what was no. Harrison almost <coughs> named? This is so, gold. This is I gold. forgot about that. Oh. Um, yeah. We've all just clicked. Um, it was a sports day. No, it wasn't sports it wasn't, day. We it went was on the a farm, school trip. It was on it was the field a, trip there. A weird field trip, but again, we won't go into that just yet. But um, So it was a parent and child day. And one of and this was about the time that I asked the teacher to text the parents and ask for their English names. And sometimes they would just come and ask me, is this a normal English name? I had a woman come up to me and say, Sonny or Jenny? And I was like, oh, Jenny, that's a bit more normal. I was like, all right, this is fine. And then a mum came up to me with a kid. And I just love him. He's great. He's, he's so cute. He's, he's very smart. And she goes, Hyman? And I went, what? And she said pointed to her son and she was like I'll call him Hyman and I went no <laughs> no and she was like no and I was like no and then she and then she went ah and then she got her phone and she typed it out and I was like please say that I just misheard her and this is not but she typed out the word Hyman <laughs> and I said no no I, I just I didn't want to go into the specifics of yeah. why she shouldn't call her son <laughs> Hyman but she thankfully she took my word for it she just wanted it to begin with h so i said harrison is kind of the first one that came mm. into my head and she was like oh okay harrison and i'm so glad that she was willing to change her mind because sometimes they don't sometimes mm. they, they get a name in their head and that's it they, they they won't shift despite our uh advice which is why amy's sister has a child in her class called oily <laughs> oily not ollie oily <laughs> and she has said to the parents that again she can speak to them in in their language that means oil that means you know a, greasy oh, yeah they don't care so oily he is for the rest of his life <laughs> isn't hymen a province Hyman. yeah and yeah. so we found out like a week ago this was back in like 
September, but um, mm. October maybe. But um, there is actually a province in China spelled like H A I M E N yeah. called Hymen. So I'm thinking possibly she wanted to name him after that, but I don't know why she would think that was English in any way. Yeah. But, um, hopefully that's it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so is that it for? Slightly irregular names. <laughs> yeah, and now we're moving. I've only let's got move on to the ones. big boys. So, okay, let's weird. move on to weird. I'm gonna. I'll start because mine is not as weird as Tom and Amy's. So mine is King. So he's just called King. He's not the it's king of the class, name. but he is. He's he's funny because he's slack jawed. <laughs> so he's like constantly got his mouth open, <laughs> and he's like Lao <laughs> Shu. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lao Shu means teacher, by the way. Yes, um, so he's, but he's he's a funny kid. He's a good he's a good kid. He, he knows his stuff. Um, but yeah, so mine is called King. King. That's a good one. But you can't say it. He goes Kim. I'm like, no, <laughs> your name is King. Kim. Kim Possible. Kim Possible. Can't say King consonant. If a if a if it ends in a consonant, they just can't say it. Yeah. They go well, if King Ga King Ga, and it becomes like two words. King my two my name is Tom. Mu, sometimes Tom. Tom. Yeah. It cannot can it cannot end on a mm. Whereas me it's Emmy <laughs> yeah. I yeah. can't be Beth. I have to be Bethany. I I would thought I would go by I always go by Beth, but saying that here just produce some funny looks and then I go Bethany and they go, Oh Bethany and so the kids go the kids and Bethany. Yeah. Um Edward. Yeah, my, exactly. <laughs> my my kids can't just say Edwards, they have to go Edward, yeah. like that, and then um, the older kids as well. Because there's a there's a Japanese cartoon called Otto Man, and all the kids here love him. They love Otto Man. Otto Man is their hero. Mm. What would Otto Man do? Is a very popular saying amongst <laughs> Chinese children, and the the older kids who I don't teach, um, whenever they see me, they look at me and they think they know my name, and they go Otto. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> I've never spoken to you in my life. That's How do you weird. even just come up? Like, they just go, oh, Otto. That's weird. Like, they just say Otto to me. Maybe you look like one of the characters. Ma- maybe I do, but you I don't. Need to watch it. Otto, Otto Man is a, uh, like a Power Ranger. He's in a silver yeah, suit. Yeah, he's like a transform. <laughs> yeah, he's wow. in a silver suit. Maybe Kate. it's just because you're tall. It's a compliment. I'll take it. If, if they are referring to me as Otto Man, Otto for short, sure, then I'll take it. <laughs> Um, so Otto. to them, I will be Otto Man. Um, but let's move on with to Chinese names. Amy, again. go, go, go with your crazy list. Oh well, um, I'll, shall I start because yeah, yours is mine's the best. really your, long. Yeah. Yours is, yours is so good. I have Amy. Adla, A D L A, Eason, not Ethan, Eason. Eason's a name. It's a strange one. <laughs> Hunter. Which I just thought was cool, you know, like to call you very American. Yeah, yeah. I, thought, I, I liked that one. His parents have thought that one through. I've got Alvian, <laughs> which is a weird one. Is he a bottle of water? Like a, I'll just <laughs> yeah. <to> do that. <laughs> yeah. Devin. <laughs> Dev, uh, Devin. Devin. Yeah, Jesus. that's okay. a good one. I've got Beta, which not, the, not Beta. the alpha of the class. <laughs> a boy called Polly, but it's P O L I. I've got a, a dodo, but then she changed the name to Elsa when she became more aware. Vita. <laughs> that's um, okay. Vita is a good one. I've got Kiki. I thought that was mm. interesting. Cher- you love me. Cherry. Fairy. Juju. Fairy is our head principal, by the way. Yeah. It's very difficult to have serious conversations with fairy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and my favourite two are both girl names. One of the girls is called Sicily, which... <laughs> Obviously, the small island off the coast of Italy, it's, it's very strange how a Chinese person would choose that for their daughter. And then Reunion, which... Reunion, reunion is uh, fucking brilliant. Beta, that's so what that is. Is it, is it like B-E-T-A? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. I thought it was like a bad way on Peter. No, no, no. <laughs> Literal. Wow. So, we're going to the, the big guns now. All right, come on, Amy. Oh, actually, they might not be as good as yours. They, they will. Blow us out the water. Come on. Well. Well, just save the best for last. Yeah. You know which one we're talking oh, about. <laughs> I'm actually, okay. So I've got a few in my older classes, like Candy, Marty. I've got a, a, a Sinba, not a Simba, a Sin, S-I-N-B-A. Yeah. A Cola. 
<laughs> lemon. <laughs> Lemon's my favourite. And a John. I have a John. But like John is a girl. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they said to me, oh, it's Joan. I was like, but you've spelt it John. It's like on her, on her, on her chair, it says John. <laughs> so every time I see her, I'm like, that's John. Hi, John. <laughs> but then like, oh no, it's Joan. I'm like, you've sp- well, sp- I've told her how to spell it, but she won't change it. So I'm just going to call her John now. Yeah. <laughs> um, then in the younger classes, like the really tiny classes, there's Samson, Ivan. The phone? No, Sam- no George, George Samson. Oh, yeah, George Samson. <clears throat> Samson, Ivan, or even, mm. we call him Ivan, a bow, which I quite like. Bow. Bow's a good yeah. A bow or a bow? Just bow. Not a bow. <laughs> a bow and arrow. A bow and <laughs> Inside jerk there. <laughs> Sorry, that's how one of our teachers says bow. Um, I've got in A1. I've got a a Jean, Alvin, Tina, Denny, and then a Harry or Ha Harry. I don't know how to say it. I just call him Harry. Um, Sawyer, <laughs> no. Herman, nice, Ooh, almost. Derwick. Derwick. <laughs> I still love that. Goon. Goon. <laughs> yeah. Goon. G U N E. <laughs> and then <laughs> the worst possible name Gaga <laughs> Gaga and I saw G-A-G-A. it written on his on his chair I said Jagger because I was like please do not correct me just say you spelt it wrong and I said Jagger and the TA was like no 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 Gaga I was like great Gaga not G-A-G-A no G-A-G-G-E-R yeah yeah it makes it, all, it makes it but so much worse. I told, I did tell Becky about it. And I've kind of ruined the whole fun of it for myself now because I went into the class today and they changed it to Jagger, which is still a pretty unusual name. But now you get to no, but it is an unusual name. Mm. But now, but for us, because obviously Mick Jagger Mick is Jagger, a legend, yeah. isn't British icon. Yeah. So now you have a kid. You could you could just say his name after Mick Jagger, and no yeah. one would know the difference yeah, other true. than the people listening to this podcast right now. Mm. Yeah. There are some other names, but I just can't remember them. And a lot of the time, especially in A2, I don't know whether the teachers named them or has told the teachers to name them strange things, but there's like Delvins and things like that. And Tickle. a lot of the time, I don't know how to pronounce them. Did so I'm just like, see, you come here. <laughs> there's like a Japanese baseball game for like a console, and it was an American baseball team that you could play as. And because, and I don't know why they didn't just copy and paste a bunch of American names, but they key smashed basically and made up what they thought American names would sound like. So there were, were there were ones like Delvin and stuff, which, and that's oh. all I can think of now is I'll have to get it up. Maybe we can put it on uh, the pictures yeah. on the podcast, yeah. but um, sorry if that doesn't happen. I'm not <laughs> sophisticated enough to do that. I'm but. lazy. <laughs> Well, maybe I don't know. We I don't know how they pick the names. You like, I'm hoping they just type in popular names for English children. Hmm. And it comes up with Gaga. Yeah. Like, Goon. Really. I'd be more concerned if that's what comes up when they search it on the internet. Like. I have a Jean, and I also have a Genie. <laughs> genie, but it's with two E's. That rub me the right <laughs> way. <laughs> Well, so yeah, that concludes well, my strange names. And I yeah. have two classes that are yet to be named, so maybe there's more to come. Yeah. Well, keep us updated, please. I will, I will. Please. Yeah. Well, shall we end it there? Yeah, on yeah, that note, yes. I think uh, that was a successful, it was. successful podcast. Yeah. And, uh, I think I thought about this bef- after, after we finished our first, first podcast. I think we should end it like pointless, finish their show. <laughs> How did I so, finish it again? So, if you remember, so it's goodbye from Beth. <laughs> goodbye. It's goodbye from Tom. Goodbye. It's goodbye from Amy. Goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>